ClearPath Operational Mode 6, Manual Velocity Control. Use Manual Velocity Control Mode when you'd simply like to dial in your selected speed by hand. Turn a knob and the speed smoothly increases or decreases. To use this mode, connect ClearPath to the MSP software and configure ClearPath with your desired maximum speeds for clockwise and counterclockwise rotation. For this example, I'm going to set the maximum clockwise speed to 2000 RPM, but the max counterclockwise speed to 0 RPM, as if my application goes in one direction only. Now, as I turn the knob to get clockwise motion, I accelerate until I hit 2000 RPM. When I spin the knob the other way, I stop when I hit zero speed. You can adjust the speed visually, or you can connect ClearPath's PWM speed output to a meter or display to get a precise readout. Here you can see the commanded speed and the actual signed velocity in the MSP software. ClearPath uses a rotary encoder for speed input, instead of using a potentiometer as is common in many speed control products. These digital knobs have become popular over the last 10 or 15 years and are now available for just a few bucks. Just make sure it can handle at least 6 milliamps. Not all can. Potentiometers are susceptible to noise and can become unreliable over time like scratchy controls in an old-time radio. Inexpensive digital encoder knobs operate smoothly and quietly for years. There are some other benefits to using a digital knob. For example, you can have ClearPath remember its last speed when it's turned on, like a potentiometer-based system, or you can have it reset to zero speed when it gets enabled, which is often desirable for safety reasons. In either case, the startup speed is always predictable. Changing the knob position when the motor is disabled will not change the startup speed. ClearPath also has built-in traction control. This feature allows you to control how fast the motor will respond to a turn of the knob. This prevents the user from changing the speed setting faster than the motor can handle for a given load and causing a shutdown or erratic motion. You might also want to use this for safety or mechanical reasons. Notice how, with the current settings, the acceleration is smooth as long as I slowly turn the knob. But if I move quickly, the acceleration can be very fast, maybe too fast for my application. We adjust the traction control effect by setting a maximum acceleration value. I'll set this fairly low so you can easily see the effect. Watch how the motor accelerates in a slow, controlled way, even as I turn the knob very aggressively. Note that I can also set the max acceleration and deceleration independently, in case, for example, you'd like to ramp up slowly, but be able to stop quickly. If you want finer control and more turns of the knob to set your speed, or more coarse control and fewer turns, this is easily done by changing the velocity resolution setting. I'll set the acceleration back to a high value, but set the velocity resolution to a low value, so there's less of a speed change per turn of the knob. With the setting high, we can make the control very sensitive. If you only need one fixed speed, you might like the simple spin on power-up mode. If you need up to four precise preset speeds, 
take a look at the mode called Ramp Up Down to Selected Velocity. If you need programmatic variable speed control, try the Follow Digital Velocity Command mode.